Oh, hello there. I'm so glad you can join me on this lovely day. For today's lessons, I'm going to show you how I draw feet. Pretty little feet. The best of those wrinkled soles. My happy world is filled with feet. So what you're going to need are a bunch of markers and an imagination and just a general joy of drawing. The first step, which is crucial and probably harder than the coloring, is putting together your piece in a way that looks right, where all the anatomy is correct and the positioning works. What I do is, while scrolling through all my feeds and I find a photo that I like, I usually save it to my phone for, for later viewing. And then I take the picture of the feet I want, and then I'll sketch that, and then I'll find the right body position, so a new photo with maybe a different position that still works with those feet. And then I gotta decide what character I want it to be. In this case, we're gonna be doing April O'Neil with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And so, with that in mind, we need the background that makes the most sense. So I'm gonna put the turtles in the back, but they're just gonna be a plain dark color. They're not gonna be green because they're ninjas in the shadows. Miss O'Neil is going to be wearing less clothes than normal because that's how I like it. In my little world, that's what I enjoy. Basically, I Frankenstein monster things together. I find the right feet I like, the right ankle I like, the right legs I like, the right head I like, the right hands or shoulders I like, and I kind of fit them all together in my pencil sketch. Practice makes perfect. I already got my sketch laid out. So I'm just going to explain all the steps from there. Enjoy! Okay, so we're going to uh, do our outline here. We're just going to trace all our pencil lines. I use a light brown fine tip sharpie marker, just like the standard fine tip sharpie. It's in a, I got it from a, I have a large color pack with lots of different colors. Because uh, like a, a person doesn't have a black outline. Get those toes. So we're just so we're gonna use a slightly darker color to the stint the skin tone. And then for the bra and panties we're gonna outline in a hard black. And the hair we're gonna do with a red she's just like a brown redheadish type look. I didn't know too much about this smile. It was uh, it was a big much for me. I don't think I got it quite right, but that's okay. So like I'm doing the hair with the red sharpie marker. It's a big pack for like thirty bucks, thirty-two dollars. It's got all sorts of different colors in there. Uh, just be careful. I'm gonna make those lips really red too. Oh, we're gonna go in with a. Uh, a uh, more a, uh, a finer tip, much finer tip black marker. It's finer than the Sharpie. It's made for doing tinier details. We're going to do all the background in this because uh, it's in the background and it should be uh, the outline shouldn't be as fat. I need to be thinner. We also used it if you, uh, to do the eyelashes and the eyeballs. I'm doing the turtles now. Get those shells. Get those bandanas. Can you guess who's who? Don't worry, you'll be able to tell. I'm going to use colors on the masks. But the turtles themselves are going to be more of a uh, just a dark gray. Just a dark. Gray. It's just a flow. You get into a flow and you just you just outline everything. You always turn in that paper to, for your best, for your best mark. I gotta get rid of those pencil lines because we're gonna do the color part. But always flip and turn your paper however you need it. Just however, whatever works best for you. 
be careful when you're racing because a lot of times I rip corners or I, I, I crinkle it. And that's no good. That's no fun when you crinkle it. Like, I just spent so much time and it's all crinkled. God damn it. It happens. It happens. So we're going to go... Uh, what are we doing now? Probably setting up our markers. Oh, okay. So the 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 belly part, this part on the photo is 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 grainy. It's it's blurry. Like you can't really see her stomach. So we're gonna just fade that out, and then her legs all faded out. You won't be able to see that. Uh, we're gonna start with the flesh tone color. This is the best part, the funnest part. You, uh, you gotta do dark edges and then light insides and then lines to make more wrinkles. Always leave white gaps. It makes it look more dynamic, like it's actually round. You don't want to just straight color the whole thing in. You want parts to be darker, parts to be lighter, and then you always need white, some white highlights. It makes it appear as if it's 3D. Same for the boobs. Can I try to give it a roundish feel? The shoulder and the arms. Always leave that little bit of white. It's very important. That little face. We also got to be careful. These are uh, these are alcohol-based markers, so you don't. We want to try not to go directly over the outlines you just did, or it, it's going to cause them to blur a lot. The alcohol will cause it to to blur. And go back in with the, this is a really light pink marker because you know you've been walking on your feet all day. You got a bit of redness there where all the marks are, and by some of the wrinkles gonna get those heels too because you put you know most of your weight there so they're gonna be a little darker a little red we're gonna get that heel get the sides and the underneath by the boobs a bit just to make them stand out a bit more and you know a little pink in the cheeks on the nose is good yeah we got she's gonna get some some luscious red lips you can make them whatever color you want Uh, some uh, green eyeshadow. It goes along with our Ninja Turtle theme, obviously. I'm pretty sure she has blue eyes, Miss O'Neill. Miss April O'Neill has blue eyes, probably. Well, she does here. Lighter green underwear. Make sure you go with a light color, because if you make it too dark, it doesn't, it ends up not working so well. Unless it's super close up, since it's supposed to be in the back, it needs to be a light, a light color of whatever you want it to be. I think I'm going to go into the hair next here. Now we got a uh, brown marker. I'm going to make the hair look more real. It's all about leaving those white highlights. You know, it's not about, you know, you got to stay between the lines, but you also got to know what not to color. It's just important as knowing what to color. Want to make it try to make it look real? I think it looks more real than regular. It's a lot of fun to do, and uh, it saves me time. Like I don't have to color all of it in, so I leave the little gaps, and it looks a little little shiny. Those teeth, I'm not I'm not thrilled with those teeth. They're they're real. I don't know. I can I. You know, next time I'll, I'll do better. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to uh, the standard black sharpie and outline the feet entirely because we want them, they're the main focus of the photo, so this black outline is going to help them just jump right out at you. It's going to bring them forward. And then we're going to outline the rest of Miss O'Neill because hers, she is in front of the turtles. The turtles are outlined with a much finer black marker. So I want to make sure that she is the main focus and that the feet are even better. Oh, we got, uh, I put her microphone down there, you know, because she's, you know, always reporting or whatever. News Channel 6. So the turtles are going to be, you know, they're in the shadows, so they're just going to be a dark gray. I'm not even going to do that. Or, uh, I'm going to do their bandanas, their standard colors. Uh, try to uh, always leave a white gap 
between whatever the background is and the and the and the main picture. Okay, I got a little close to it. I had on a couple of those. I should have left. Should be an equal an equal amount of white all the way around her in the background. Between her and the background. Oh, we got Leonardo there. His little blue. The blue, you know. Raphael is in the back back, you know, kind of smiling. Michelangelo, Donatello, they're like, what are you doing? Maybe she's seen a rat. She's like, yeah, rat, what's going on? So that's, uh, that's basically the whole thing. I sign it here. I forgot to do the toenails, but I'm going to get back into those. Don't worry. Your microphone's got a six on it. I think she's from News Channel 6. Is that right? Is that where she's from? I, yeah. All right. That's basically the whole thing. It's all about dark spots, light spots, and what not to color as much as what to color. But your whole drawing will fall apart if it's uh, if your basic pencils are not good. So you gotta get that first. And the outline just you get into a flow and you just you just go for it. It doesn't take very long at all. Well that was the whole thing. I'll post a still right after this. Sure did enjoy that. I hope you did too. Till next time, maybe if you have a request, you can shoot me that. And enjoy yourself.